Darling, you send me. I you. What's up, guys? Siobhan here, back with a new video. As promised, I would be updating on the new changes and features in iOS 11 Beta 3. So, before I start this video, I just want to say there hasn't been a lot of changes, but there has been some small and also some good changes that Apple has made in iOS 11 Beta 3. So first and foremost guys, I just want to talk about a change that no one has been talking about and this is the wallpaper thing. So normally in iOS 11 Beta 2 and 1, when you try to change your wallpaper, I don't know if you guys realize but every time you try to change your wallpaper, it, it just crashes your phone and it just respring's and you have to go into the photos app wait for it to respring go into the photos app and then set it again so now that has been changed it has been cleared up i don't know why a lot of people haven't been realizing this maybe it's only me but that has been fixed in ios 11 beta 3. also guys another new change is the wi-fi and bluetooth toggle thing so in the previous version of ls ios 11 the wi-fi just it wasn't like this before so now when you tap on the Wi-Fi toggle it doesn't actually turn off the Wi-Fi it's weird it's just it just disconnects from the current Wi-Fi network and it doesn't connect to any network that might be available and it just just turns off so if you tap on the toggle again iOS will start searching for networks again and then connect it to a preferred network the Bluetooth toggle also functions similarly so I don't need to go over that again another welcome change or feature is the notification center it has been touched up it has been cleaned up a little bit so it removes the earlier today swipe gesture a lot of people hated this but it's one of the most annoying things about the new is 11 thing the fact that you had to just swipe twice in the notification center just to view notifications so when you swipe down previously when you swipe down in an app to view the notification you'd have to swipe up again to view the notifications that were there before or older than a couple of hours but now the earlier today swipe gesture has been removed and it just shows up in line with the rest of the notifications thank you apple for fixing the earlier today thing also guys the new authentication api for safari has been fixed say for example you're going to starbucks and you go on to wi-fi you toggle for starbucks you click it then it just pops up and says welcome to starbucks blah, blah blah if you want to agree and continue just to connect to the wi-fi in ios 11 it wasn't working sometimes you'd have to go into safari or you'll be connected to the wi-fi and it just doesn't load anything you get notifications you get all that but once you want to post a snap you want to view instagram it just doesn't work now in ios 11 it will prompt you it will just jump onto Safari. You don't have to try to work around anymore. So thank God that has been fixed in iOS 11 Beta 3. Also, the Safari View Controller has been updated. So Safari's in-app browser gets a visual update as well. So now when you 3D touch on a link that's going to open in Safari View Controller, you get a better UI and the toolbar is collapsed. And it also has a new default preview option. Also, content blockers are back in full effect. So content blockers in iOS 11 were broken, but now in beta 3, they're all working again, thank God. And then we have to dust off the file apps right now. So let's dust it off and jump into it. So the files app has been hmm, not, not even upgraded. It just added a new feature, which is um, Dropbox and OS X servers. So in the files app, you'll be able to add a Dropbox as a location now and there also has been options for OS X servers that shows up if you have a server set up you'll be able to connect and interact with the files on it directly from your iPhone or iPad also airplay for third-party apps has been fixed so airplay now works as it should especially when using third-party applications we also have new TV providers and I say have because it has been listed these are Comcast, Xfinity, and at this point, they're just a listing. They don't actually work, but we're stepping in the right direction. iCloud Message Sync Counter. So yes, the new feature that allows you to sync messages using iCloud now shows a counter to tell you how many messages are being backed up. And that wraps the video, guys. That's everything I found. Oh yeah, in the control center, the flashlight is now blue. <laughs> so that's a new change it's blue it's blue yeah 
normally it was black then it turned to yellow now it's blue so everyone knows everything apple pro might find 50 changes if he does i will delete my channel because i couldn't find anything else going on right here but there has been a lot of bugs that needs to be fixed for example if you're in whatsapp or something and you just want to like the the whole ui is glitching out a lot of small thing that annoys me sometimes that's why i said i made a couple videos on five reasons why you should install ios 11 and five reasons why you should not install ios 11 beta so yes guys please check the links down below in the description if you enjoyed the video drop a like down below subscribe if you're new and always look out for more videos this week love peace and tweets sign out see you in the next one up in paradise, I suppose. If you will tell me I'm the only one that you love, life could be a dream.